For nearly 50 years, Voyager 1 has traveled alone through the vast, silent expanse beyond our solar system. This aging spacecraft, drifting farther than any human-made object in history, has ventured deeper into space than any probe ever dared. Once considered the ghost ship of the cosmos, it silently carried the data, hopes, and memories of Earth. Scientists had expected only the gradual decline of its signals as its systems aged and its power faded. But just when they believed Voyager 1 had reached the end of its journey, something truly remarkable happened. The spacecraft altered its course, not because of a command from Earth or a mechanical failure, but seemingly on its own. Even more astonishing, just days before this shift, Voyager 1 detected an unusual low-frequency hum, a sound with no known origin, not matching any NASA records and defying any scientific explanation. Now, with its antenna still pointed at Earth, Voyager seems to be heading back, or perhaps being pulled in. What did it encounter in the darkness? What did it witness that compelled it to change direction? To grasp how extraordinary this moment is, we must look back at the beginning. In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, designed to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years. The mission was to perform a grand tour of the outer planets, using the gravitational slingshot effect of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to propel the probes further into space. Voyager 1 was tasked with passing by Jupiter and Saturn, capturing the first close-up images of their moons and rings. The images it sent back during the late 70s and early 80s redefined planetary science. Volcanic eruptions on Io, the complex ring structures of Saturn, and the mysterious haze of Titan, among other discoveries. But after completing its planetary mission, Voyager 1 continued onward. It crossed beyond Pluto's orbit, beyond the heliosphere, and into interstellar space, a region never before touched by human technology. Over the years, Voyager sent back diminishing data, but it maintained one unshakable purpose, to keep exploring, even as its systems grew colder and weaker, even as the sunlight from our sun became more of a distant memory than a reality. For decades, Voyager 1 transmitted weak, delayed packets of data about plasma density, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. But deep into its 46th year in space, its instruments registered something never detected before a faint, continuous hum buried within the plasma wave frequencies. Initially, scientists thought it was interference or a malfunction. But when the same reading kept appearing, verified by multiple antennas in the deep space network, concerns grew. This hum did not resemble any known space phenomenon. It wasn't cosmic background radiation, a solar flare, or anything coming from any known direction. Strangely, it seemed to fluctuate in perfect intervals, as though it was a message recorded for future analysis. After this, without warning, Voyager 1 made a subtle yet significant change in its trajectory. No commands had been given from Earth. The spacecraft seemed to adjust its orientation as if to better observe or align with something in deep space. Engineers wondered if it was the result of a malfunction, an outdated line of code triggered by an anomaly in the sensors. But the logs showed no such command. Even more perplexing, this course shift positioned Voyager's camera array, which had been shut down since the pale blue dot image in the 90s, toward an area where no celestial objects were known to exist. There were no visible stars, no galaxies cataloged, and no gravitational anomalies recorded. So why point there? What had Voyager 1 detected? And why had it reoriented so precisely at a distance of over 15 billion miles from Earth? There was no autopilot, no corrections, no assistance. Voyager made a decision, at least it appeared so. In the weeks that followed, Voyager's transmissions began to show subtle alterations. Signal timing and frequency fluctuated in ways that, when closely analyzed, revealed patterns embedded deep in the data stream. These weren't transmission errors, they were deliberate modulations, repeating in complex sequences that resembled binary logic or harmonic resonance. Scientists and engineers began consulting cryptographers, AI experts, and linguists. Some speculated that these patterns could indicate a response or recognition, as if Voyager was not just observing something, but being observed in return. Was this a two-way communication? Could Voyager have encountered an intelligence that doesn't emit signals in our frequency bands, 
but instead uses gravitational waves, magnetic distortions, or some unknown medium to communicate. As these unusual signals spread, top-level meetings were held behind closed doors at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL. A select team of physicists, engineers, and mission veterans reviewed the anomaly. What had initially been seen as a minor deviation now sparked a heated debate. Some argued it was the final error of a dying spacecraft, a last gasp of malfunctioning hardware. But others, noting the consistency of the altered signals and the precise course correction, suggested something far more troubling that Voyager 1 might have encountered an unknown gravitational or electromagnetic phenomenon, or worse, was responding to something not naturally occurring. As the data continued to be analyzed, new patterns emerged. Geometric ratios, symmetrical intervals, and harmonic feedback hinted at deliberate structure, as though something was mirroring or mimicking Voyager's activity. The JPL team found themselves asking a question that no space agency is ever truly prepared to answer. What do we do if this isn't random? When whispers of the anomaly began to spread to the wider scientific community, independent analyses emerged from universities and observatories around the world. Some prominent physicists proposed that Voyager 1 might have entered a region where dark matter interacts, or even brushed against a space-time distortion, as theorized by physicists studying massive gravitational anomalies or exotic astrophysical objects. But one paper in particular sent shockwaves through the community. Researchers using pattern recognition software found that some of the sequences Voyager was now receiving mirrored the Arecibo message, the binary radio transmission humanity sent to the stars in 1974. Could it be that some form of intelligence had received our message and was now responding via Voyager? When Voyager 1 was launched, it carried with it the golden record, a message from humanity to the cosmos, featuring greetings in 55 languages, music, and scientific diagrams meant to introduce Earth and its inhabitants to any life form that might find it. Initially thought to be a symbolic gesture, the golden record may now hold new significance. Could something Voyager passed near have decoded it? If so, Voyager 1 might not just be a relic, but a beacon carrying the coordinates of Earth for nearly half a century. If this beacon was heard, the implications are staggering, not just scientifically, but for human security and existence. As data continues to evolve, there are reports of a shift in protocol within NASA. Project members have reportedly been instructed to refrain from discussing non-natural causes in official communications. But off the record, some insiders admit their concern because what Voyager seems to be experiencing doesn't match any known astrophysical behavior. It seems like an interaction, like intelligence, and adapts as if aware of its surroundings. The fear is not just about what this could be, but what it means. If Voyager 1, drifting through the most isolated place in the known universe, has encountered a presence, a field, or a signal responding to its movements, we must face a question humanity has never had to ask before. What if we're no longer the observers, but the observed? Voyager 1 was never intended to last this long. It wasn't built to journey across the stars for nearly 50 years, nor was it designed to make contact. Yet it may have done exactly that. What began as a mission to explore our outer planets has now become a story of cosmic proportions, a moment where science meets philosophy and awe gives way to unease. This spacecraft, drifting more than 15 billion miles from home, may have found something, or perhaps something has found it. The signal distortions, the course correction, the mirrored patterns, everything points to one possibility. Voyager 1 may have made contact, not with intelligent life as we imagine it, but with something else, something vast, something structured, something watching. If this is Voyager's final chapter, it ends not in silence, but with a question that shakes everything we know. What if we are no longer the observers, but the observed. If this story left you questioning everything, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and share this video with someone who still believes there's something truly magical out there in the stars. Because in the end, Voyager didn't just send back data, it might have sent us a message. And maybe, just maybe, we're not the only ones listening anymore.
In the distant cold edges of our solar system, far beyond the last faint traces of the sun's influence, an ancient spacecraft launched in 1977 continues its journey into the unknown. But recently, something astonishing happened. A signal, a strange, fragmented pulse reached Earth, shaking everything we thought we knew about space. What did Voyager 2 just discover that no one expected? For more than four decades, Voyager 2 has sent back data from worlds no human has ever touched. It has captured images that altered our understanding of the universe and delivered vital information about distant planets, moons, and cosmic phenomena. But a few months ago, Voyager 2 transmitted a signal that no one could explain. Initially, engineers thought it was a malfunction. The system had been running for 45 years. Surely it was just wear and tear. But as they analyzed the data, something started to emerge that was beyond any system failure. This wasn't a glitch. It wasn't random noise. What happened next changed everything. The signal wasn't just coming from the spacecraft. It was coming from somewhere else. Voyager 2, traveling at over 34,000 miles per hour, has long sent back expected data, plasma measurements, cosmic ray readings, and magnetic field data. These are the signals we expect from a probe crossing the cold expanse of interstellar space. But then something remarkable occurred. For the first time in years, one of Voyager's systems, the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, which keeps the spacecraft oriented towards Earth, began behaving erratically. This system, once thought to be dormant for decades, suddenly kicked into action, sending back data that appeared to be corrupted and unreadable. The strange part? Nothing else was wrong. Voyager was still correctly oriented, still sending strong signals back home, and nothing seemed to malfunction, except that the data was coming from a dead computer channel. This wasn't a software error. It was something much stranger. The next question quickly became, who made it switch? In its 45 years of operation, Voyager 2 had never acted like this. No command was sent to reroute its transmissions, yet the spacecraft had seemingly chosen to use an old, inactive computer channel. So the question changed from what broke to who is pulling the strings, and the mystery deepened. Engineers soon discovered that the corrupted data wasn't just noise, it was structured. It wasn't random static. It followed specific sequences that looked eerily similar to Voyager's earliest launch protocols, almost as though the spacecraft had rebooted itself into an old memory. But it didn't end there. Embedded in the corrupted data were binary markers, patterns that weren't from Earth and weren't recorded in Voyager's memory. These markers, when mapped, formed a repeating geometric structure, a fractal-like design, a pattern within a pattern. It resembled the kinds of shapes we see in nature, but completely alien in its digital context. Even more mind-bending, the timestamps attached to these packets didn't match Voyager's current timeline. They seemed to come from an entirely different point in time, almost as if the signal was coming from a layer outside of our understanding of time. So what was it? Was it a glitch? Or was Voyager 2 truly interacting with something far beyond human technology? The signal contained a repeating low-frequency pulse, a harmonic sound that echoed through the transmission every 7.44 seconds. The frequency didn't match any known system malfunction. It didn't even match Voyager's design. It seemed to be responding to something beyond Earth's influence, and it refused to respond to external commands. No reset, no override could stop it. It was as though the spacecraft was communicating with something that wasn't part of the solar system, something beyond our current understanding. Engineers at NASA referred to it as the heartbeat, but what it really was remained unclear. Was it a system error, a software ghost, or something much more profound? Eventually, NASA issued an update, reassuring the public that the issue had been resolved and data had been returned to normal channels. But there was something strange about the way they handled it. What they didn't release was the full truth of what had been found. When the corrupted data was decoded using Voyager's legacy software, a strange pattern emerged. The binary data looked like it was from an entirely different system, not Earth, not from Voyager's design, but from somewhere else. The geometric patterns in the data appeared to be self-replicating, much like fractals in mathematics. And these patterns were not random. They were structured, encoded into the signal with mathematical precision. Some of the most disturbing findings were the timestamps, which seemed to be out of sync with Voyager's timeline. 
It wasn't just that the data was strange. It appeared to be coming from a different temporal layer, as if the signal was being influenced by something beyond the boundaries of time as we know it. So what if Voyager 2's transmission wasn't a glitch at all? What if it was responding to something far more complex, something outside our solar system, maybe even something intelligent? That's when the idea of an interstellar communication field began to take shape. What if Voyager 2 had crossed into a region of space, an electromagnetic zone, capable of absorbing signals and reshaping them before sending them back? A system far more advanced than anything we could ever imagine, capable of responding, analyzing, and altering the probe signals. This wasn't just a malfunction. This was something structured, something in control. As more scientists dug into the data, a chilling thought emerged. Could it be that Voyager 2 had crossed into a region of space designed to remain untouched, a no-man's land of sorts, a buffer zone between different civilizations or even dimensions? Some researchers have called it the zone of echo, a term borrowed from science fiction, but disturbingly accurate. The anomaly wasn't just random noise. Voyager 2 wasn't just sending a signal, it was being heard. And what was returning wasn't a simple echo, it was a response, an exact replica, as if the signals were being cleaned, adjusted, and sent back with a layer of sophistication that we didn't expect. This wasn't a random occurrence, it was a conversation, and it wasn't us who initiated it. Now, as more scientists, mathematicians, and engineers look into the data, the questions continue to multiply. What did Voyager 2 find? Was it a natural phenomenon, or did it stumble upon something intentionally listening? Was this the first step towards true contact? And most importantly, what do we do next? Do we send another signal, build another probe, or do we remain silent, just in case something is listening? Because the truth is no longer whether we are alone in the universe, the truth is that we never were. And now someone else knows that too. What do you think Voyager 2 really discovered? Was it just a coincidence? Or did we unknowingly stumble into a cosmic conversation we weren't meant to hear? Drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe, and join us as we continue exploring discoveries that challenge everything we believe about space and time.